Okay, I'm a mic pissed off. I just got done recording this video, and then I found out that my microphone was being all dumb. Basically, all that came through was a huge crackling noise. Anyways, here's the Messiah Church disciples, or whatever, talking about some crap. Anyways, I've been away from making videos for this for a long time, and basically that's because I'm addicted to some of my other games, like Crack. Or at least, what I'd assume being addicted to Crack is like. Anyways, in terms of random battles, if we haven't seen the enemy before, I'm probably just going to skip it. Let's see, uh, I think I'll talk my way out of this one. Where your weapon? Money. Thanks you kindly. And I have this one on my team. Anyways, for most battles I'm probably going to pause unless we've seen... Unless we haven't seen the demon before. And if I can talk my way out of it, then I don't really see why it's necessary to pause. But we've seen this before, so here's an example of the awesome pause action. Magnificent, ain't it? Ah, crap, I hate these things. Ignore it. Er, get angry? Persuade. Now. Sing! Approach it. Intimidate. God! Well, that was pointless. What the hell? I hate these conversations sometimes, they get so retarded. Anyways, these things are a pain in the ass as they can cast a spell that puts your your party to sleep. And if it hits most of your team, you're pretty much screwed as they can kill you pretty much instantly. Alright, come on, we can get through this. I don't want to waste time. Ugh, it's paused. Yeah, I really hate it when I say pause right before I pause. I get into that really nasty habit of doing it over and over. Anyways, this area introduces something that's rather annoying. The dark zones. Basically, there are areas on the map that you won't be able to see your way through. Yeah, having the mapper spell up can make getting through those areas really easy. Whoa. Hey, that's pretty awesome, I have to say. wonder if I'll ever have a need for that. Alright, we can easily win this fight. I'm not trying to recruit any demons because I pretty much just have a full team. Oh crap, these guys. Alright, in small groups they're not too bad, but in big groups they are really annoying. They can hit multiple members of your team in one go, and they hit pretty damn hard. So in big groups it doesn't turn out well. Your weapon. And you can trick them and say you're part of the Messiah Church, and they might give you stuff, usually money, but that time they gave me a plasma sword. Hold on. I want to see something. This might just be me playing too much Strange Journey, but I think that Law Line characters can equip plasma swords. And yes, he can. And it's better than Kodachi's Light. Making it a bit more useful in auto fights, I guess. Well, Kodachi's light got outclassed pretty quick. I hope to shave down some of my time with the constant pausing. And here's an example of one-way doors. These were the things that really confused the hell out of me, because basically in this room, uh, both sides look exactly the same, so I got confused as to where I was. Alright, hold on a second. 
I've been mostly asking demons for money to replace some of the money that I've lost. I've forgotten how annoying the encounter rate in this game is. Ah, the zealots. These are pretty much the exact opposite of the temple knights. While they represent the same place, they are utterly crap. You can take out a huge group of them with no effort. Hmm. The Messiah? What the hell are they talking about? Whoa. She looks familiar. Well, Leela didn't do so well after the explosion. Looks like she needs my help again. Alright. Well, hey. She was talking to me telepathically. Maybe the problem is in her mind. I bet if we get help from that guy who can go into people's minds, we could fix that problem. Man, I am seeing the complete obvious here. Uh, this video is turning out to be as crappy as the previous one was, so hey, you're not missing out on much. Ah, uh, will you leave me alone? I just got out of a nuclear. I just got out from a nuclear explosion to a uh, purgatory, and I just want to be left alone from you guys, okay? I really need to stop going into tangents as soon as I get into a fight. Ugh. Ugh. I have forgotten this encounter rate indeed. Oh boy. Sometimes I just want to run. Because these random battles can get quite annoying. Like here's an excellent time to run, they're not looking, and there's way too many of them. And even then, the experience they get give isn't really worth fighting with them for. Ugh. Expect to hear me go ugh a lot, because this encounter rate is just ridiculous. I guess this is one of the big annoyances with dungeon crawlers. Encounter rates. And the mapper spell is gone, but I know my way from here, at least. For what that's worth. I find it weird that demons will give up their money more easily than they will join you. You'd think trying to grub money from them would really piss them off, but it doesn't. Weird. Good to have full heels around. The Kaifuku is basically the place you go if you're a neutral character doesn't align itself with anything like the Gaians or the Messiahs do. Anyways, just in case this video doesn't work like the last one, I'm gonna go make a state real quick. Alright, anyways, it seems like we can transmit places, and we can go back to Shinjuku. It's been a while since we've been there. wonder if it's changed any. Nope, it hasn't changed at all, has it? Anyways, what I want to do... Let's see... If I can remember where it was... And this way... Ah, crap, I went in a circle. <laughs> Here we go. That was easy. Yes, weapons. We can finally buy some guns. Excuse me, I'm gonna go do some inventory management real quick. All right, after some management and some equipping. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I'll check my status instead. For myself, I got the Spast 12 and the Nerve bullets. For ye, I got the M16 and Nerve bullets. And Marty also got the M16 and the poison bullets. So, with that out of the way, let's leave this store. And, hmm, all my instincts tell me that something important is just here. He's the chief of the police. Ozawa? 
Hey, wasn't that that guy that Marty was after? The hood or something? Wasn't he a gang leader? Well, apparently in this sad, sad future, he's a big shot. Huh. Well, anyways, I'm probably gonna get some armor as well. Or perhaps not, because I'm running low on cash. But anyways, until next time, we will continue with this journey into a desolate, desolate future. See ya.